Okay, okay, man. It's Lucy here, man. My first official video into my new vending machine business venture. I want to take y'all with me, man. Show y'all how I got my first two locations, how I got my business started, how I got the machines, how much they cost, how much work you really got to put into this business, and how much return you can really be looking to get every month. You know what I'm saying? As an independent artist, you know, you got to create those streams of income, right? So for me, this is a new venture into that passive income they talk about. We're going to see how passive it is, you know what I mean? I want to take y'all with me so you get full transparency on this business, how much you got to put into it, what the returns look like, you know what I'm saying, and what really goes on on the, you know what I'm saying, day-to-day -day dealing with this business, all right? Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the videos, comment your questions, anything that I can answer, anything you want to see me make a video about, put it in the comments. Let's go see how I got my first two locations and what they look like, right? Let's get it, man. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do, man, when you set your business up is you want to like legalize your business. You want to set it up as an official business. You want to register with your state, um, whether it be an LLC or whatever, man. Like I use LegalZoom, you know what I'm saying? I went online, found LegalZoom. I set my business up on there. They set my insurance up, all of that. You want to have insurance for liability claims on, you know what I'm saying, wherever you, pray, wherever you place your machine at on the property. Second, once you get your business registered, you get an EIN for your business, you want to use that to open up a business account and you'll get you a business credit card and a checking account. Um, the other option to that is, you know, you could save up before you start your business and you'll probably need a good five, I say around $5,000 to get started. The machines are about $1,500 to $3,000 um, stocking getting the machine delivered might cost you all right so let's talk about how I got my first location right so my first location I got through a locator service so it's four ways you can get your locations right you can hire a locator to find the location for you and then they sell you the location you can go out you know what I'm saying and go to the locations yourself ask them if they want vending machines they'll either tell you yes or no or they'll take your car say they're interested you can buy your locations from somebody who's selling them. So people sell their routes, they get rid of their vending machines, you know, they might not want to be in the business no more, or, you know what I'm saying, they might be moving, whatever, right? And then the other way is you can post your ads, you know what I'm saying, on Facebook Market, Craigslist, or whatever, saying that you offer these services, and people reach out to you saying that they want a vending machine in their location, right? I was always told that the first thing you want to do is secure your location before you buy your machine. I got my first location hiring a locator. I paid them a fee. I paid them about, I think the first one was $500. And they sold me the location, which is a senior living facility. Um, it's all elderly patients, tenants actually. Um, it's not a hospital, it's a living facility, like an apartment complex. Real big, it's got 100 plus tenants, um, staff there. They actually wanted this vending machine. The tenants asked for it. So it was, to me, it felt like a good one to secure because they knew what they wanted. They did a list, an assessment, telling me what they wanted in the machines, made it a lot easier. And I placed my first vending machine there about a week ago. And me personally, man, I just wanted to hit the ground running with this thing. So I paid the locator for my first location. You know what I'm saying? I paid around $500 for the location. It's a senior living facility, 100 plus tenants. Um, they got staff there. All of them are elderly, and they did an assessment sheet telling me exactly what they wanted in the machine, so it made it easier for me to know like what to put in the machine. I thought that was really helpful. My first machine was about $1,500. So they range anywhere from like 1,000 all the way up to maybe 3,500 for a used refurbished machine. And you wanna start out with like a used refurbished one is what I was told, instead of a brand new one that's like, you know, almost five to $8,000 if you really get in a real up-to-date joint. So I started out with a $1,500 one, only snack. They only wanted a snack machine. So I bought the snack machine, I had it delivered there. I got distributors in my area. You can look up vending machine distributors, you know what I'm saying, to find out what your delivery fee is gonna look like and what they offer. Um, I had two in my area, I chose one that I thought had a better machine. $1,500, they delivered it to the site, set it up for me, and then I had to do everything as far as stocking and everything like that. So that was how I got my first location, right? My second location, I used a different method. I bought from these two girls who were selling their location. They were selling a U-Haul location in a lobby area that had a drink and a snack machine, so two machines. So I got two locations with three machines now. This second location, um, they make about $500 a month at this location. 
So it's real interesting to me too because they also don't have card readers on these machines. Card readers are supposed to bump your revenue up. Um, and for me, I wanna have card readers on all my machines. My first location, the machine doesn't have a card reader on it yet. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all in my next videos how to get that set up, how to get your card readers, put it on the machine and everything like that. Cause it is, sometimes it's simple, sometimes it's a little process. So I'm here at my second location now. This is the U-Haul location that I brought from um, the two girls that were selling their route because they was moving. And um, yeah, this, this location doesn't have a commission. No contract here, no commission. Um, they told them to bring the machines in, place it in the lobby for their guests and they staff, and it's working out good, man. They say they make $500 here a month. They don't have card readers on the machine. Let's go ahead and take a look at the machines, man, see what they look like. Okay, so y'all saw that, right? Came to the machines, people already buying. These are my two machines at my U-Haul location. I came in here to stock this joint. You know what I'm saying? Chips, all the snacks there, I put in there. This machine was already stocked, but I'm gonna change some of the things here. You know what I'm saying? They got, these are the selections for the drinks here. Yeah, so that's how they look, man. So let's open this bad boy up, man. See what she look like on the inside, man. Key, key. Okay, man. Up just like that. So, here you got all your, you know what I'm saying, bill acceptor, coin mechanisms here, quarters, nickels, dimes inside of there. As you can see, it only takes the coins and cash on it. What I am gonna do, Install car reader right here on the front, be able to take cars. But when I bought the machine, it had a metal bearing on the back here that goes right against the back here that didn't leave me room to put my car reader on the front side. So I came in here with a saw, cut that part off of the machine right there. As you can see, it's still a little, a little rough. I'm gonna sand that down to make it smoother. And my label maker. I made labels for everything I'm selling. This is a refurbished machine. It's a little older than the one I have at my my other location with the senior living facility, but it's a good machine. Everything works. I checked it out when I bought it from them. I tend to technically want to just check for like damage, anything wrong with these coils here. You want to test them. Like um, the machines will have a program set here. And they usually either be here or like on the back side here where to show you how to like um, test VIN every coil in the machine, make sure that they work. Um, you can test all your button selections, it'll tell you the prices, you know, V1, 125, matches here. You can set all of that on the machine. Very, very simple, usually. Um, once you test all the coils, make sure everything's working, make sure that it's like no extreme damage to the exterior. You know, I'll put another label on here not to shake it. Make sure there's not a lot of damage to the frame, the glass. You know, say your buttons work properly. Make sure the board and everything look clean, good. You want to buy, you know what I'm saying? Almost like buying a used view. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure everything is working. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The second one here is the drink machine. These tend to be a little bit more expensive than snack just because they come with cool systems. Strawberry Pop Tarts in here, right? It was already in the spot right here. They sold out. So I'll show you how to do that. So here, spin the wheel back to the side. Mm -hmm. Tray up, pull it out. It always 
tell you to load from the back to the front. This machine, you know what I'm saying? That's how it works. Close up. Machine back. Secure. Both machines are locked and good. Stop. Yeah, man, those are my two machines at my U-Haul location that I purchased from somebody who already had them placed, man. I got a good deal on these machines too, so always look for a good deal, man, if you can. But Sometimes you just gotta jump, you know what I mean? When the machine's making a good amount of money at a location, sometimes you just gotta, you know what I'm saying, take that chance and see how it goes. Okay, let's go over what we just went through, right? So first, you wanna set your business up legally, you know what I'm saying, you wanna register with your state. I use LegalZoom to do it. You can use whatever methods you would like. Google how to set up my vending business um, officially. Um, two, you wanna find your locations before you buy your machines. So you wanna to go to areas like gyms, apartment complexes, um, construction sites where you know they got a lot of employees or a lot of foot traffic. Those are the two things. You want people who got a lot of foot traffic from employees or guests, clients, tenants, whatever it may be. Three, buy your machine. You wanna get refurbished to use machines to start out to make sure that this is what you really wanna do and you know what you're doing in this business. They tend to range between a thousand to anywhere to like $3,500 for a real nice refurbished drink machine or combo machine. Um, next, you wanna get your supplier, like Costco, Sam's Club, um, whatever you're gonna use to supply your candy and snacks and you wanna get them at bulk wholesale prices. And you wanna flip those prices three or four times whatever they come in the package, you know what I'm saying? If you're getting them for 23 cents a piece in the package, sell them joints for like a dollar, dollar 25, and make a four or five time return on that um, investment. Have your professionalism already in line, your contracts, all that stuff for the locations where you are gonna have to do commission or agreements um, based on term or whatever they wanna do for your machines. If not, you know what I'm saying? You want to try to find locations where you don't have to pay commission. The 10% is like an industry standard. You want to stay there or below. You don't want to go above 10% because it ain't no point. Um, after that, man, you just want to make sure that you have a regular rotation of when you check your machines. Um, make sure that you don't have bill jams, any issues like that. I haven't even run into those issues yet, but these are things that I'm being told to be expected and look out for to be able to come on site and, you know, fixed bill jam so you're not losing out on money where your machine just sitting for days and it ain't taking in no money set you up a website you know get you some business cards you know what i'm saying a lot of businesses did ask for my card be professional with it man because like i said it, it's still a service you're still servicing people and you're still representing your company you know what i'm saying so you want people to have a good rapport about you and you know what i'm saying even if they, they might refer you to other business, to other locations, they might say, you know what I'm saying, we got good service at our location, you might want to contact this dude to get your machines in here, you know what I'm saying? So, always be professional about what you're doing, man. Um, in my next video, I should have my card readers. Um, I want to, you know, show y'all how to install those card readers on the machines. And um, I'm excited about that, man. That should bump up the revenue at both locations. And um, I'm excited to get them added. I'm going to have to research how to do it exactly, and I want to do it with y'all, man. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Next video coming real soon. I'll see y'all soon, man. Hopefully y'all liked it. Any questions or anything, man, drop it in the comments. Something you want to see me add or show y'all about the machines or about the business. If you got any questions, just ask me. I'm going to do another video explain everything. I'm going to keep these joints rolling, all right?